Euro pound daily forecast January 6 fxempire.com Euro pound continues to fall during the Thursday session as the pair makes a fresh new recent low. The breaking of the 85 handle uh, from a few weeks ago did signal further weakness in this pair and quite frankly it's just chugged along right to uh, plan really. The euro is in serious trouble at the moment and although the pound isn't necessarily loved either it has the advantage of at least not being the euro. Because of that, the pair continues to do the same thing most other euro-related pairs have been doing lately, selling off the euro in general. Currently, the only currency that the euro seems to have any real traction against is the Hungarian forint, a currency that is absolutely melting down uh, at the moment. The breaking below 83, which happened on Wednesday, signaled a fresh new round of selling and was also the continuation of a bearish flag that had formed in this pair. As you can see, it's a very small flag, but it was a flag nonetheless, and it does suggest the 260 pip uh, handle does suggest that perhaps we will end up going as low as 8080. We have been calling for 80 to begin with because it is a major fulcrum point in this pair and it does make sense that it would want to return there. If you look at this pair over months uh, on the monthly chart over, the, over years rather you will see that 80 has caused the reaction has been like a magnet for price. With that in mind we are selling any rallies that we see in this pair. We are willing to hold on to our core position still and add to it as time goes on. Every bounce seems to be a selling opportunity as money flows out of the Euro zone and into the United Kingdom. The main reason for this is that there are just simply so many banks in London that people are looking to hide their cash and they do not want to hide them in Europe. Switzerland is no longer an alternative because they are actively working against the value of the franc, which of course you end up getting beat up on both ends of the traction, uh, transaction if you enter at high franc rates and withdrawal at low franc rates. With all of this being said, it looks like the UK is going to be the winner, at least in the European zone. Of course, that's being the winner of three extraordinarily weak currencies uh, going forward. So having said that, we are selling this pair on rallies. Uh, this pair does move rather slow and does tend to chop around quite a bit, so we are not looking for great meltdowns rather a nice steady continual decline.